So we are going to see how to set up CI CD pipeline using AWS code pipeline. And we're going to use the components GitHub for source, AWS code build to build Docker images, and ECS forget cluster for deploying applications to the environments. ECS forget is AWS web services for orchestrating production grade Docker workloads. So ECS forget will take care of all heavy lifting and it allows us to just deploy containers into the cluster and the rest is automatically taken care. First I want to create ECS cluster. Forget. Go to next. Name the cluster. I'm naming it Java Home. I don't want to create new VPC for the cluster here. Create it. The cluster is ready. The next step is to create task definition. In order to run containers inside this cluster, first we need to have a task definition. Let me go to task definitions and hit create new task definition. The launch type is forget. Throughout this example, I'm going to use ECS forget. Next step, task definition name. I have one sample node app in my GitHub repository. I want to use that. This task role is optional. Network mode is AWS VPC for forget kind of task definitions. The default network mode is AWS VPC. And task execution IAM role. So I want this role to be created. The task size. You have to allocate the compute and memory for the task definition. I'm, I'm selecting minimum values. Okay, see that. So the allocation we did here is at task definition level. Inside each task definitions, we can have multiple containers. So to repeat, the allocation we made is at task definition level and that we're going to spread across multiple containers inside task definition. As part of this demonstration, I'm going to have a task definition with only one container. So add container, container name. Let's call that node app. I want to pull this image from my ECR. I'm going to push images to Elastic Container Registry. And from there, I want to pull and deploy it into my ECS forget cluster. Okay. So as of now, I do not have any uh, repository there. So parallelly, let me open one more tab. Let's set up a repository. Click on repositories. Create repository. I'm calling this node app. Create it. As of now, we don't have any images. When we go and set up CI CD pipeline, code build will push images to this registry. So copy this. Provide that information. Let me point to the latest image. This is not required. Memory, soft limit. A soft limit is nothing but the minimum allocation is made to the container at launch time. So you also can set hard limit. When you set hard limit, it can allocate memory up to the hard limit if you leave it. So whatever is available at task definition level that is utilized on demand. So a port mapping inside container, our application is exposing 8080. Let me keep it 8080. 
and we have other details like health check all these details are not required for this demonstration so environment a cpu units so i will again choose minimum cpu units we have chosen memory limits here and the cpu usage there environment variables all that stuff not required as of now so i am pretty much done with filling task definition for node app let's go and create that see at task definition level we have 512 mip for memory and cpu we have 256 cpu units these are the allocations i made to the container if i have one more container i can use the remaining utilization in task definition to those containers okay so right so let's go ahead and create task definition even our task definition is ready we have cluster we have task definition using service i'm going to create multiple tasks nothing but replicas and i want to add those tasks behind application load balancer such that n customers will hit ALB and ALB distributes traffic across multiple replicas of your tasks. Before I go ahead and create a service, I need ALB. Let's go to EC2. Okay, load balancers. So create a load balancer before creating load balancer. Let me create a target group. Let's discard all of that. Okay. So create target group. Node app. So IP. So port number. I want to have 8080 because my instances otherwise docker containers will expose 8080 and health checks looks fine and i want to just bring down healthy threshold so create it next step is load balancer so create load balancer application load balancer name Let's name this Java Home app. A scheme, I want it to be internet facing, IP address type IPv4. On which port we want load balancer to listen, I want it 80. Um, VPC default. And for high availability, select multiple zones. So configure security settings. We are not using HTTPS, so this page is blank. A security group. Let me go ahead and create Chao uh, Home ALB. Uh, our ALB is listening on 80. I would like to choose HTTP source anywhere now configure the routing part we have existing target group there so these details auto populated register targets review created right to repeat the process ALB listens on 80, okay, and the target group will link, right? They listen on 80, 80. Even health checks, when it makes health checks on ECS tasks, our ECS tasks will run on 80, 80. So that's why I made this 80, 80. The next step is to create a service. We have cluster task definition we have ALB for integrating 
the tasks with uh, the load balancer next step is service go to clusters open your cluster create a service launch type is forget task definition is node app the latest revision we have only one which is one and its latest so platform version leaving it as uh, latest service name let's call this node app number of tasks uh, let me put three i'm leaving uh, minimum healthy percentage maximum percentage all the default values so deployment strategy you can choose um, a rolling update for this example next step so vpc i want to choose all default vpcs and for high availability i want to select more than one subnet across different zones let's edit security groups and let me choose custom tcp custom tcp and let me listen on 8080 so this security group is a firewall for your tasks okay as i said tasks are listening on 8080 that's why i'm opening 8080 source anywhere so save this we do need uh, auto assign public ip for this case health check grace period i'm leaving it load balancing yes i want to integrate my service with application load balancer select that load balancer name it auto populated and so container to load balancing mapping is auto populated again so add to load balancer okay and i do not need to change anything so fine i'm fine with these things no i don't want to create new one i want to have the existing port even target group i want to map to existing target group service discovery for this example i do not need even auto scaling i don't want next create cluster if all goes good we should have our node.js application deployed into elastic container service behind alb so weave service see that uh, at service level i said three replicas desired count is three and three containers are coming up probably it might take a while for uh, becoming uh, active state this tasks going to fail for sure why because we're pointing to uh, elastic container registry which doesn't have any images it's going to fail when it pulls images and obviously the task provisioning is also going to fail temporarily to fix this problem let me upload our node js image to ecr go to elastic container registry so open that so let me see how to push images to this ecr so these are the steps on mac os or linux i am doing all this stuff on my mac os let's follow these instructions so copy 
paste it. Login succeeded. The next step is to build Docker image. Let me take the code from GitHub. Node app. Let me clone this. Git clone cd into node app. Let me start Docker on my MacBook. Let me do ls. So Docker build iPhone T for tagging. Node app and the location of doc file. So it's going to build Docker image. So the warnings we can ignore them. So all right. So we successfully built image and we tagged it. The next step is this one. So in order to push this docker image to ecr we need to tag it with a prefix of the ecr followed by the image name and tag so copy this execute that i think i have used i have used just node app All right, and the final step is to push it. So, copy, push the image. Yeah, the image got pushed successfully. Let's close this window, refresh, and check that. So, all right, so we have one version with latest, right? Now Get back to ECS and refresh. Uh, refresh. They are in running state. See, there are many stopped state because earlier there was no image. Obviously, when it tries to pull images from ECR, it fails and creation of task fails. So now I see a three in running state because the image got pushed. And it's able to pull them and run containers. I want to do one more cross check. That one is go to EC2 ELB and specifically we should go to task, sorry, target groups. Ah, see that. So it created three tasks all those ip addresses are added to the target group that target group in turn is linked with a load balancer so we see all of them healthy now if i pick up dns name and try here see that we have node application successfully deployed on acs for gate cluster now we should go ahead and set up CI CD pipeline. Okay. Now I want to have code build first. In code build, I want to create a new project. This code build project going to pull this repository using build spec dot yaml it's going to build docker image and push that to elastic container registry so i need to do uh, update for repository uri let's edit this one i want to change Let's not include tag. It should just point to repository URI. And uh, okay, so pre-build 
we are uh, what is that logging into ECR and we are preparing the details like repository URI and the uh, commit hash is used as a tag so uh, image tag all the stuff then we are trying to build docker image with the details configured in pre-build we're tagging it so in post build actions we are pushing that image to elastic container registry fine so we do have one json file image definitions.json we'll have discussions on this little later so i want to update my registry details that's updated and commit the change so come back to code build create build project i'll call this node app description is optional source code i want to connect to github So it will ask you in your case, see I am already connected. In your case, it will ask you to connect. You have to provide your GitHub username and password. Then it gets connected. So I want to get the repository in my GitHub account, which is node app, right? Then, yeah, if you want to trigger this code build automatically whenever we push commits to github account enable this you also can choose for which event type you want to trigger this i want to trigger for a push event so environment i want to go with a managed image i don't want to use any custom image there ubuntu so run times standard image i'm fine with any of that I'm leaving this image version privileged I need to enable this because we are using docker commands it requires elevated uh, permissions for that I need to I must select this option so new service role I want to create service role for this let me call this one two three four five to to make sure it is unique I do not need any uh, VPC configuration code build works based on the inputs provided with build spec file that is already included part of our repository so by default we need to keep this file in project root and file name must be build spec dot yaml if we are following default naming conventions we do not need to explicitly provide these details if your file name is different and you're keeping that file in a different path then you have to provide all that information here so artifacts i would like to say no artifacts because my code build will upload docker image to elastic container registry so i do not need to have anything in s3 so logs also leave all defaults there create build project okay so there is an issue this policy already exists to fix this problem let's delete and retry I am in your case it might not happen policy A policy yeah so delete probably I was trying some uh, demonstrations offline that's causing issue for me so create build project yes yeah we successfully created code build project when I start build 
it pulls code from my github account it uses buildspec.yaml accordingly it's going to create a docker image and publish that docker image to elastic container registry so let me start the build it's going to take a couple of minutes okay so these details i want to leave all defaults this is going to take a couple of minutes i will pass my video once build completes i'll be back right so we're back and it seems build got failed it got failed while executing this command this is basically lack of permissions go to i am roles this one i think so yeah it is code build node app service role one two three four five yeah to this i need to add additional policies to get access to acr attach policy amazon ec2 container registry full access attach so go back to your code build retry that so again i'm going to pass video until the build is ready i'll be back once i see the output i see the status succeeded if you scroll down the logs i see it is success to cross check the image is pushed let me open repositories in separate tab yeah see we see two images the one which we pushed manually from our local host and the second one is uh, created by your code build right we have cluster we have source which is github we have code build which is pulling the source code from github building images and pushing to docker elastic container registry the next step is to set up code pipeline so go to pipeline a create pipeline name java home app so it's going to create new service role say next source provider is a github so hit on connect to github so i already logged into my github account so node app master branch so uh, how to detect the changes so i want to have github web hooks hit next i need to choose my build it is code build so what happens now code pipeline pulls the source code from github passes that as input to code build project name is node app right so for build stage i'm using code build region is mumbai and the project name is node app next step is to deploy i want to deploy this application to uh, elastic container service so cluster name is java home service name is node app this is optional say next our pipeline is almost ready so create pipeline
so after creating pipeline it auto started right now it is in source stage so I'm going to pause this video until I see some output source got succeeded even build got succeeded it's currently in deploy stage even deployment got succeeded it has taken more than five minutes for me to complete all the process so finally we automated uh, CI CD using AWS code pipeline code build and ECS for gate for deployments in order to test this again let me do some change to my application I will edit a file I will change the color and commit those changes the moment i commit those changes it has to trigger the pipeline automatically so commit that see that so pipeline got a request from github about the push i made right now it triggered this process it goes through all the stages now source build and deploy after the code is successfully deployed when I go and access the ALB the color should change to red and the version should point to 4 let me pass video because it's going to take some time it got into deploy stage and if you check ECS see that um, it has created a new revision and provisioning three new tasks which is referring to new docker image once all these tasks become healthy eventually these instances are terminated well a new uh, build deployed successfully and let me refresh this page of course we see change in color and we do see change in version number that's what we updated part of uh, this CICD process and this is overall demo how to implement CICD using code pipeline code build and ECS forget cluster.